this is the vegan anarchist and in this video is some criticisms I have for the anarchist community and movement. Let's do this. Alright. I'm, I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this, but uh, we do as a movement, we do kind of have to criticize ourselves once every once in a while, just you know. So I'm gonna provide some criticisms, you know, my own or a lot of us like we might hear from others, but I agree with it, so I'm gonna give it here. But anyway, let's do this. The anarchist movement has has many uh, has a little bit of a. Well, let's start with one issue that it ties in with a lot of the other, and it is that the anarchist movement is not as too practical. Not that practical. They're too. They're too. They can't be too dogmatic and they and not practical and and not practical and pragmatic. And what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? A vegan anarchist. Well. Here's, here basically, like for example, it ties in the other, the other one is, is, we don't want to change our tactics because we're still stuck, stuck in what Bakunin or said and think everything he says applies or almost all that applies to it now, right now, except for his anti-Semitism part, but Oh, Kropotkin said this, and thus it must be true now, Rudolf Rocker. And a lot of it is, yes, we can learn from them, but from those old people, they're dead and they don't live in that world. Even then, even then, the stuff didn't work in the past. Like, that's, the, that's why we're here. That's, that's the problem. There's, that stuff didn't really work out very well. And we're trying to get those lessons of like, oh, platform is, it was me in the 20s around there, let's do it today. Oh, syndicalism, it's been around since the 19th century, but let's do it today because it, it's, it's going to work, it's going to work. When the economy has changed so much, we have, as a society, we have changed a lot. The way we work is completely changed. Not completely, like there's still way, way, way slavery and stuff like that. So there's still a lot of replies, but there's been so, there's not, it's a, it's a different time. And even anarchist strategies failed at the appropriate time, uh, time period when they've been said. And we just live off of dead philosophers, and it gets to the point where crime think writes an essay and it, show, and it shows how bad we are crap. Because they pointed out our politics has become boring as fuck. I mean really making obscure references to like to like Kropotkin or Stern or yeah it's fun as Stern or me once in a while. But we're so stuck and what People in the anarchists said in the old time, the class of anarchists, that often we overlook how today is different. What opportunities we have, what we don't have that they do. And nowadays, it's one, one way is this difference is the, in, the, in the first world, most a lot of the first world, the, we're better off because. Because, because we have the eight hour work day, we have all this stuff, and the proletariat is more comfortable. And another example of anarchists being dogmatic and um, pragmatic is when it comes to propaganda, for example. Um, we, we, we use the same propaganda tactics, or we change it up a little bit. We use pretty much, we use propaganda tactics 
to gain influence on people, but our propaganda tactics compared to like fascists and old writers is basically not even close. Not even close. In fact, the reason why the old right went from a few blogs who said crap on the internet to this phenomenon that got Trump elected or helped got Trump elected was the fact that they was because they used strategies and propaganda that worked. But when I talk to Admiral, or when other anarchists hear, oh, let's use the same strategy, use what works for Nazis and old writers on our propaganda, oh, no, 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 let's not do that, let's not do that, no, that's horrible, that's wrong. When, hello, we're fucking not doing very well as a movement. And that's the problem, is that we could do better. Another issue is that we kind of, we kind of talk to ourselves. We use jargon that only we can understand, like the in-group click thing. And, and, that, and that's a problem, and yes, it's, Yes, you should use those words. Yes, you can still use those words. But people on the outside, we're not engaging with people who are who we could be targeting and making it in our side. We're just we're just reacting. We're just going with the motions. Going. We don't create new trends anymore. We just reacting. We're just. Fucking, we're just, we're just a shadow of what we used to be, and and the truth is, is that we need better, we need better outreach as an anarchist community, and I don't mean like go oh, bullshit media, like corporate media, and say promote us, because you're gonna slap us up down anyway. But guess what? The old right didn't have that advantage. And anarchists actually have a ground movement, although some better in other places, especially in Antifa, because in America the left is super weak. But we were, but the, but they were able to get from nothing to infamy. And the anarchist movement stayed as a subculture. Can maybe some shit posts here occasionally with sterner memes, but or black block here too. But we, but the point is our, and that's a problem. Our content is not accessible enough. At least my video, except for this one, this one's boring as hell. But my other videos are entertaining. That's what makes my videos accessible because I do things like this. And yell and scream and scream profanities and I am lively. The point is, anarchist, the anarchist movement needs to rethink the strategy. The, we need new tactics, new strategies. Modify the old. Get rid of whatever doesn't work. Use only what works for our time period. Don't take old people who die a long time ago as gospel. That's where we're supposed to go. But, you know, and so other things I, I can mention is that the anarchist movement has a lot of, uh, has a lot of, uh, we're not, we're not, the thing about anarchist movement, the anarchist movement is, we're not banging, we're not loud enough. We live in a culture that's just such a short attention span. And social media, people are barking at each other. And you, you have, we're gonna, sometimes, we're going to have to adapt to the time. Well, we're going to have to. We're going to have to craft incredibly slick propaganda. Even the most politically novice person 
put together. Someone who doesn't know anything. Even people who are not as intelligent, not to diss on the unintelligent people, bad, but they can understand. We live in an area of sound bites. We, a lot of people want drama, so sometimes we gotta start up some drama. We gotta do, even, even if it's like, oh, we anarchists need money, even if, it's, uh, even if it's something very controversial, sometimes it's better done and strengthen the movement actually successful than not. And quite another thing is that, um, Another example of anarchist dogmatism is the anarchist movement has a bad cash problem. Like, we don't, we really have a bad money problem. We don't have, we don't have like money just flowing like establishment, it's the establishment press and the establishment ideologies have. So, but we need to get money because our society runs, we can't do almost, almost nothing without money. So if, we, if it takes like doing things like, uh, you know, basically going, doing some capitalist things just so we can get enough money, we might have to do it as long as it doesn't corrupt you and corrupt the people involved, if it, if it helps. But no, 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 no. And that's the problem. Our, our propaganda can be better. We can be more pragmatic. We tend to fetishize what deaf philosophers say. We're just, we're just, as crime thing says, our politics is boring as fuck. I see just everybody reads that essay, but we have gone predictable. That's another issue. And how could you really just go by what dead philosophers say? How? Can you not be predictable? And these are some of the, most of them are, actually those aren't mine, but critiques are better. But the point is, is the anarchist movement can do better. We can make better propaganda. We can blew up like the old right did, or Hitler. The old right started off as a bunch of just white nationalists, random blogs that nobody ever heard of, to a cultural force. And if they can do this, what can we do within that same period of time? What can we do we already have more ground movement, though I would be suggest to everybody to keep say to everybody because don't take those old rights, don't take a, we don't take the old right seriously enough because they are friend, they are starting to mobilize. But we have a mobilization, we have the people physically on the streets. But our strategies, our tactics, our theories have lagged behind. We have become predictable. And that's the point. We must break the monotony of, of everyday life and revolt. This is the vegan anarchist. No meat, no milk, no masters. Like, like this video and if you, and if you like my videos in general and you subscribe, please press the bell button. If you're not press, subscribe, press the bell button so I can Basically, you can get notifications so you can watch more of my stuff. See ya!